Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sean from TokyoWebs.com, YouTube Console SMP, and today I have an unboxing, um, actually a setup for you guys, of the Google Home Mini. Um, so you can see the speaker right there. Um, here's the box of it. I already opened it, um, did the unboxing, nothing special, literally just the manuals, the Google Home Mini, and then the power cable. Um, and I know you guys have probably seen plenty of unboxing videos, so I figured that this would be a lot more useful um, for people that are first getting the Google Home Mini is to see the setup of it. So uh, real quick, I'll go around the hardware of it. Um, you can see it's a small speaker, uh, fabric on the outside. I bought it in charcoal as well as the um, the more gray fabric. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but um, two out of the three color options. Um, and you can see that this has like the candy, no, the other one's chalk. Uh, this has the candy um, little bottom to it, the red, um, as well as, or orange I would say, as well as a mute button and your micro USB connector on the bottom. Um, so the first thing that you guys are gonna do once you get the speaker is take the speaker, the power jack, um, out of the box and connect it to power. Okay, so I got it connected to power. You can see that the LEDs are lighting up on the speaker and they're flashing colors. Um, second thing that you guys are probably going to want to do is download the Google Home app. If you guys don't have a Gmail account or a Google account, you're going to want to have, have that set up. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. So as you guys can see, um, it's actually saying that it's already found my device, my Google Home, um, in my uh, Google Home app as soon as I open it. So like I mentioned, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the Google Home app. Uh, once you open it, it'll say, found the device. Um, it's showing up as a Chromecast. It's kind of weird. Um, however, it's not a Chromecast. So I'm going to hit continue. Set up yet. Now to it's going to say it's connecting to it. Google Home app on a phone or tablet. So I also own an Echo Dot. Um, and I would actually say from first impressions on the speaker, the audio quality actually sounds a little bit better than the, um, than the Dot. Um, so it's actually telling me that I need to update my Google Home app. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. So going ahead and installing the Google Home app. It's a free app on the Play Store. Um, and it's by Google, so it shouldn't be very difficult to find. Um, it's rated E for everyone, so you shouldn't have any problems downloading it. Even if you're a younger kid, um, you know, you should be able to download it perfectly fine without any parental controls. Um, and it takes about 10 megabytes worth of space, so, you know, um, just keep that in mind if you're pretty close um, storage-wise on whatever device you're installing it on. Um, again, you can also install this app on iOS or Android, so iPhones or Android phones. Um, the app is available for both to do the setup. Okay, so I'm going to switch the installation um, and setup process to iOS to show you guys how it works on iOS. Um, I started on my Android tablet, however, we're going to switch over to an iPhone. Um, so I just went to the Google Home app on my home screen. I'll show you guys that. Clicked on Google Home. Open the app. And now it asked me if I'd like to set up the device. So now it's connecting to Google Home Mini. And you guys can see the speakers lighting up. Do I hear the sound? Um, is what it's asking. Click yes at the bottom. And now I'll have to set a name for it. So I'll put it in, let's say, bathroom. Next, it's asking for Wi Fi information. So I'm going to connect it to my Wi Fi network. Now it asks for the password. I'll put that in real quick. I hit connect. Now it's connecting to Wi-Fi. And you can see the little pulsation um, of the LEDs. Now it's connected. Now it's telling me a little bit more about uh, how to set up Google Assistant. I already have it set up. Like I mentioned, I have two Google Homes already. So it should already be up and running. So now it should just be able to sync with my account and uh, Wi-Fi network. Next it asks you if you're in to use Google Assistant. I click yes I am. Um, that's 
the main way you're going to be able to take advantage of the speaker. Real quick, a few highlights of the speaker. So it's very similar to an Echo Dot, where it doesn't have the greatest speaker inside. However, from you know brief listening to it, it does sound a little bit better than the Dot. However, you can pair it up with another speaker. Um, however, this only comes with a Bluetooth signal, so you can only connect it via Bluetooth. You have the option for three and a half millimeter, but you're gonna have to buy another dongle to plug into the micro USB port, and it's a lot more cumbersome. So it's ideally meant to be used Bluetooth to another speaker, not um, wired like the Echo Dot and the Echo Twos and the new Echoes can. So it actually looks like it already stored my uh, my voice. Um, it already has my address, so we're just going to click next. It's going to ask for video services. I'm going to skip that for Netflix. Uh, it's going to ask for payment. We're going to skip that because we're not going to do any payment yet. And now it's saying it's uh, setting up my bathroom speaker. Um, it's going to take about three to four minutes, probably be a little bit shorter than that. And then we should be all up and running with the uh, Google Home Mini. <laughs> Sounds like the speaker is almost there. Um, real quick, guys, the lighting for this video today is provided com um, by compliments of my Philips Hue lights. So if you guys were wondering, um, you know, just where this lighting source is coming from, it's coming from Philips Hue. I uh, have reviews and unboxings of the lights. So if you guys want to check those out on my channel, um, they're all on there. So it says it is ready. Um, so it's ready to ask you questions and get it going. So I'm gonna Hi, continue. I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. And now we're all set up. Now it's going to talk to me, tell me about different things I can do with it, very similar to the normal Google Home. And um, yeah, so that's how you guys set up the Google Home Mini. Hope it uh, helps out. If you guys have any other questions, drop them in the comments. I do a really good job, or at least try to do a really good job at getting back to you guys um, in a timely manner. So um, if you guys have any questions or run into any issues, just drop them in the comments. If not, if you like the video, please subscribe helps me put more videos out, especially, um, you know, seeing that there's a lot of views on my videos kind of incentivizes me to buy more product and put it on my channel. Anyways, guys, please subscribe, favorite the video, drop any comments if you have any questions, and I hope you guys have a nice day. I'll talk to you guys in a later video. This is Sean signing off.